Hey, what is up, guys? The Strong Boys 19 here. So I'm back at it once again for another update. Um, I've got uh, most of the albums on CD. Uh, most of them I bought from HMV, and uh, I do have some records. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first one, Cream Wheels of Fire. This is uh, in part of the Cream remasters. Uh, some Cream fans say that this is their best album. It's not my favourite, although it is fantastic. Uh, Disraeli Gears will always stick with me as my favourite album from Cream. Two CD set. The uh, the Live at Fillmore CD from Wheels of Fire is just really great stuff. White Room is my favourite Cream song. And then you get uh, Press Rat and Warthog, which is one of my favourites, and Politician, and other songs. Great cover art as well. So yeah, that's that's that one. Mastodon, Leviathan. I've been a huge fan of Mastodon for a long time now, and I'm very thrilled to have this CD to my uh, Mastodon. Um, discography, <laughs> yeah, um, I haven't bought the new album yet, and uh, once again, they've made um, some of the most beautiful and greatest album covers. Now, uh, I decided to buy uh, music from both Indian music and Native American, although I do love Native American music more than Indian music, but I decided to buy uh, a Ravi Shankar music of India album and um, I did enjoy it but uh, even though Indian music sounds uh, the same quite a lot but uh, it doesn't bother me to be honest that's why I think Native American music has more of my kind of um, uh, my kind of sound that's just so um, beautiful and uh, smooth some Leonard Cohen for you. His debut album, Songs of Leonard Cohen. This is a 2007 remaster. And this is an excellent Leonard Cohen album. Some Cohen fans say that this is his best album. Songs of Love and Hate is my favourite so far. But this is still one of his very best. Same with this one. I'm Your Man. His synth-pop oriented album. Some of his best songs are on here, like First We Take Manhattan to Jazz Police and uh, Ain't No Cure for Love and uh, Tower of Song. Cool cover art too. Leonard eating a banana like a boss. <laughs> Ten new songs. I did enjoy this album, but not all of the songs uh, grew on me. So at the moment, this is my least favourite Leonard Cohen album. I still like it, but I just need to um, listen to this more. Uh, some Neil Young, once again. Comes a Time. This is one of my favourite Neil Young albums. It's, it's just beautiful, gorgeous, and um, wonderful Neil Young. Acoustic-driven, country, rock, folky-type oriented sound. Really good cover as well. And uh, another one is uh, Zuma with Crazy Horse. Zuma is a really good follow-up to Tonight's the Night. And uh, I just think that Zuma is another one of his best albums. And this excellent live album, uh, Neil Young and Crazy Horse, uh, live at the Fillmore East. I haven't bought his Earth live album yet uh, that he did with Promise of the Real, which I need to buy. And uh, this live album is um, just one of his best live works, if you ask me. Craftwork with The Mix. This is uh, an, an excellent remaster of The Mix. Some of these... Um, mixed songs are, uh, in my opinion, quite better than some of the original tracks, including Music Non-Stop and uh, Radioactivity. 
I also really like uh, the mixed version of the robots and um, Pocket Calculator and Dentaku, so yeah, excellent. Frank Sinatra, Come Fly With Me. This is a classic Sinatra album. Love that cover too. I do have uh, songs for swinging lovers over there, but this one uh, for now is my favorite. And uh, I have heard of In the Wee Small Hours, which is another one of my personal favorites. But this one takes the cake for me so far as the best Sinatra album. And of course, I had to buy this album. I wasn't sure uh, about buying it uh, when it came out. But since I listened to it, I just had to. David Bowie, Black Star. Black Star is a really uh, heavy ride of an album. And it's emotional, it's um, intense. And what Bowie did on this album, he was just very brave. Very brave to portray uh, the, the story behind this album. And the music on here is... Um, art rock sounding with a bit of jazz stuff and experimental. This is definitely one of Bowie's best albums in a long time. Now, for the records, two Neil Young records, Tonight's the Night. This is, this is my first original Neil Young album to my collection. And, uh... The the the, uh, the cover is uh, like a, got a plastic design to it. It's in use condition, but uh, the record plays extremely well. Although there's quite a lot of surface noise, uh, so the record needs to be cleaned up. It does come with the uh, the record sleeve, and of course the. Uh, the hello and goodbye water face insert and uh, this is just a, an interesting pressing that I am really happy to uh, to have for my collection and uh, I love this album even though to me it is um, a uh, heavy ride it's it's another one of his albums that some say that it's his best album uh, it's not my favorite Neil Young album but it's one of my biggest favorites I love some of the songs on here like uh, speaking out to borrow tune come on baby let's go downtown uh, roll another number for the road Albuquerque it's a really raw ride of an album yeah tonight's the night by Neil Young and <clears throat> I've got uh, another Neil Young record on the way, which I hope is an original pressing of, of uh, Time Fades Away. And uh, here is On the Beach, which is another one of my big favourites from Neil. And uh, love this cover art. No, that's not how much I pay for this, if you're wondering. Uh, it just came... Uh, the sticker just came uh, in with, with the cellophane. I uh, bought it from eBay. And uh, this has some of his best songs on here too. Like See the Sky About to Rain and uh, On the Beach being my favourite song on the album. But Ambulance Blues is a, uh, a fantastic closing track. And uh, Walk On is a brilliant opener. Uh, motion Pictures, you know. Another... Fantastic release from Neil. Now I believe this is a, a record store day purchase record. Um, although this was given to me. Um, this is a, uh, a record. Uh, I Hear a New World by Joe Meek. Not a, uh, not a long album. But I, I do like some of Joe Meek. And the music is like a... Um, um, Weird space experimental type music, clear white vinyl, 
And uh, I think Joe Meek was a very uh, interesting musician and, uh, you know, extraordinaire, I guess you could say, for those who want to get into uh, some experimentation and a uh, more obscure side of music. Like other artists, like Frank Zappa to Captain Beefheart, um, you name it. So yeah, that is this um, Joe Meek record. Craftwork Computer World, 2009 remastered vinyl. Sounds incredible. Love this album. To me, this is the last classic Craftwork album. Of course, like the others, it comes in this big, huge booklet, and this is just, um, you know, as as legendary and as influential as um, the other albums, like Trans Europe Express to The Man Machine, and uh, I just can't get enough of this album. That's how much I love this. So yeah, that, that's Computer World by Kraftwerk. And the last two are books. So I decided to buy uh, this book that I was really interested to, to read. Um, and, and I really like this, uh, this huge pop culture icon a lot. I love the way that um, he talks about... Um, his thoughts on planets to black holes and uh, other complex scientific stuff. Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. This is the uh, updated edition and uh, I am really looking forward to watch his film. Uh, well, not his film, but uh, a film about him, uh, The Theory of Everything. This is a really complicated read. but. It's fascinating at the same time, and uh, I haven't I haven't gone very far through the book yet. I'm on to um, chapter three, the expanding universe. So not very far yet, but uh, this is this is a, an excellent, interesting book, and uh, this book that was recommended to me, uh, a rising man. And uh, it's from this author, and this is uh, his first ever uh, debut, first ever book that he made. I haven't, I haven't got the chance to read it yet, but um, but from what I've heard, it's like a uh, like a, a crime thriller uh, based in India, nineteen nineteen, and uh, it's a lot of pages. But I will read this eventually. So that is it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this update, and uh, I just thought I would go back to it, because it's been, uh, been a month since my last one. Thank you guys for watching, and I will keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.